so I'm sitting outside and I saw a robin. And a robin is a symbol of loyalty and truth. The robin is also a symbol of family, unity, and trust. In many Native American cultures, it is said that the robin carries the rising and the setting sun and moon on its wings. So a robin can also represent that that which is done in the dark shall come into the light. It could also talk about betrayals coming to the light. So I want to take a moment to dedicate this video to two dear friends of mine, to Jackie and to Gigi. Because for the past few weeks, both Jackie, well, Jackie's been having dreams and premonitions about me of things that were going to come. And Gigi has also been having dreams and premonitions. And uh, they've been warning me. And uh, I just want to, you know, say, yeah, I was cocky, but everything came to the light. Um, all that is done in the dark came to the light. And so I want to take a moment to say thank you, guys. I appreciate it. For having my back so I'm going to show you a meditation today and this is a meditation that I like to call the meditation of the sacred tree now I believe that all trees all life has spirit and if I was in Puerto Rico I would probably go under a ceiba tree because that is my favorite tree in the Caribbean but here in New England my favorite tree is El Sauce now, El Sauce is known as the willow tree in English, and for me it symbolizes the capacity to withstand hardship, loss, and it removes difficult emotions, and it also symbolizes strength and tenacity. It helps us to evolve through challenges and adversities, and in witchcraft traditions, it is known as the tree of enchantment and sorcery. Now, if you cannot go out into nature, then go outside and sit on the grass. And if you cannot go outside, then go next to a plant and visualize that this plant is nature itself. Now, the first thing that I do in my meditation is sit under this tree and I take off my shoes. I want to be barefooted. I want to feel the energy of Pachamama, Gaia, Mother Earth penetrating through my body. Then I like to take three breaths, three inhaling and exhaling breaths, all the while I'm visualizing uh, the energies of the earth grounding me and the energies of, of above, so below, so I'm feeling the energy, so I'm inhaling and then exhaling. And I do this three times to ground myself, to lower my heart rate, and just to feel relaxed. At this moment, I like to do a prayer. Any prayer that comes from the heart is fine. And so I'm going to say, Great Spirit, allow me to be able to release all negative energies and associations from my life. As the four winds blow, remove them from my heart and life. Ground me, Great Spirit, as this tree is grounded to Mother Earth. Let my bare feet walk on fertile grounds, and my toes be rooted like the roots of the sacred tree into the healing energies of Mother Earth. Amen. Now, this is not part of the ceremony, but I have purchased an amulet, a talisman, that I want to charge with the energies of the full super, uh, super moon and blue moon of August. So I brought this talisman, and I'm going to place it and ground it, making sure that I have that little string so I can find it afterwards. Now, this is not part of the ceremony, but if you bring a charm, you can ground it at this moment. I believe in the act of sacred reciprocity. If I'm going to ask the tree for something, I'm going to give to the tree, the, to the tree spirits, to the driadas, the dryad spirits, right? So I brought some mapacho tobacco, some coins, and uh, some holy water. Any water will do fine. You can bring this, or you can bring any incense, copal, frankincense, sage, uh, you can offer the tree spirit milk if you wanted to, but water does fine. Now, this is known as mapacho or nicotina 
rústica. Nicotina rústica is known as Brazilian tobacco or tabaco azteca. If you do not like to give tobacco, then you can just give incense. But I offer tobacco to the spirits. Now I'm going to cleanse with a spiritual cologne. You can use Florida water, shamanic water. I'm using Crusella 18,000. It's one of my favorite spiritual colognes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it through my hands, okay? Smell it and then pass it through my head, the back of my neck, my shoulders, and whip off any negative energy or vibrations that may be around me, within me. And I want to like sacudir, as we say in Spanish, uh, from my energy body, my physical body. And I just want to whip off all that negative energy so that I come before this tree feeling cleansed and purified. Here I am taking the mapacho cigarette. This is the, the way it is used in the shamanic traditions in Peru. If you don't want to use a mapacho, if you don't have mapacho, you can use a, a puro, a cigar. If you don't want to use tobacco, you can use any incense. You can use resins, a frankincense, uh, dragon's blood. You can use sage. You can use palo santo. Any smoke, any sacred smoke that you use in your tradition. Now I'm going to take the mapacho and I'm going to cleanse myself. Again, if you're not using uh, tabaco to cleanse yourself, just use the sage or the incense that you are using yourself to cleanse and purify yourself. And after you purify yourself, you want to offer some of the sacred smoke to the tree. Here I am just playing my sacred maraca. And what I'm doing is I'm just praying, meditating, and contemplating, not on just the, the tree, the tree spirit, but nature in itself. Again, remember, if you cannot be in nature, uh, you can be in front of your plant or outside in your garden and just meditate and, and visualize that this is sacred land. Ground yourself and call on these natural spirits, these natural forces that God has given us. Now, if you don't have a maraca, then just bring an altar bell, any altar bell, and you can ring this bell to ground yourself and to call on the spirits of nature. And if you don't have an altar bell, then whistle. It is said that we should never whistle into inside of a house, but in nature, it is appropriate because it attracts the spirit. It awakens the spirit. And if you don't feel comfortable with whistling, then just snap. And after you snap, cross yourself. Open the doorways between what is above and what is below and in the four directions. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Now we will begin our grounding and meditation. Ask the spirit of the tree to allow you to connect with its divine essence. Focus on the tree and use each of your five senses, one at a time, to connect with the ancient dryad or spirit of the tree. First, we're going to begin by looking deep at the tree, really seeing it and its magnificence. Look upon its presence and take it into every cell of your body. Next, we will touch the tree and register what it feels like. Bringing the essence of the tree into every cell of your body. Touch its leaves and allow its essence into every cell of your body. Touch its branches and allow its essence into every cell of your body. Now we will embrace the sacred tree or we will slowly touch its bark. Feel its cool presence, feel the sharp edges, and allowing its essence into every cell of your body. Now, with the softest part of your ear, we're going to listen to the tree. Listen to the wind blowing softly through its leaves. 
Listen to the rustling of the branches. Let each and every sound of this tree penetrate into every cell of your body. Now we are going to smell the tree. Try to smell the bark of the tree or its leaves. With your hands, gather some soil from around the tree and smell the aroma or the fragrances that is emitted from the tree. Let the aroma penetrate every cell of your body. And finally, we are going to imagine the taste of the tree. Now, we are not going to physically taste the tree, but with our sense of taste, we are going to imagine its earthy and woody flavors. And we're going to allow this to penetrate into every cell of our body. Arbol, darme tu sombra, dame tu sombra, arbol. Tree, give me your shade, give me your shade, tree. So now that we are finished with our meditation, we're going to meditate on the three main parts of the tree. Above, we have the crown or the canopy of the tree, and that represents the upper world or the heavens. The trunk represents the middle world or the physical plane, while the roots represents the lower world planes or the lower realms the realm of the ancestors so in every culture trees are axis mundi they are those divine entities those divine beings living beings that connect us from the world of that which is unseen the world of the ancestors to the physical world to the worlds of the divine the world's that are above us. And just like mountains, ancient cultures believed that mountains and trees were sacred temples that connected us to the world of the divine and spirit. So now that I'm finished my meditation, I'm going to give an offering. This is the act of sacred reciprocity. And ancient cultures often gave libations of either milk or water and here I am giving water so that the water is symbolizing as it's going down into the roots it's giving it's quenching and it's giving libation to my ancestors now after I give it the offerings of libations I like to give it offerings of tobacco and I like to sprinkle the tobacco around the tree loose tobacco if you don't feel comfortable with tobacco, you can give corn, cornmeal, you can give nuts, berries, or seeds. Now, as I'm offering the tobacco, I give it with respect. And what I like to do is I like to sprinkle it around the tree. You can do this with your corn, with your seeds, or whatever offering you're giving it. Since I offered the, the, the tree a mapacho, I'm going to dig up a little hole and the, le the, the rest of my mapacho, I'm just going to bury it into the tree as an offering to the spirits. And finally, I like to leave an offering, a derecho, a payment to the spirit. I traditionally give a coins when I go and I ask an elemental spirit a spirit of nature, uh, but you can leave coins, you can leave crystals, you can leave quarry shells, you can leave whatever you want. Now remember, in the beginning of the video, I was charging an amulet. This is just a bonus, you know, since I had come to nature, I wanted to charge this talisman, this amulet. So of course, retreat it, and then Finally, after I am finished my, my, my little ceremony, my little ritual, I like to play music to the spirits. Uh, this is just something that I like to do. I like to play drum. Right here, you, you see me playing the drum and the maraca at the same time. If you don't use drums, you can use whatever instrument you want, or you can play some soft music in the background. And this is just me thanking the elemental spirits with the gift of music. 
music is such an integral part of our spiritual practices all around the world. And finally, I'm closing by thanking the spirits, uh, you know, and I'm, I'm just honoring the spirits above and below and all around me. And I'm looking at the tree before I leave. I'm making sure that I picked up everything, that there's no mess around me. And I take a final look um, and touch the tree. I want to dedicate this video to my oldest godson, Giovanni. Te quiero mucho. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hasta la próxima. Bendiciones. Sancista. Brujo Luis. Are you carrying negative emotions or have you let friendships grow cold? The Robin has medicine and carries a lesson you could learn from. Life's conflicts are not resolved by prolonging them, but by letting them take their course and knowing when they should end. The Robin is a symbol of letting go and moving forward with assertion and grace and knowing when things should end and making sure you step towards a new and better beginning. The Robin is a messenger of beginning and endings of cycles and it is said that the Robin carries the rising and setting sun and moon on each wing. And it is also a symbol of that which is done in the dark will soon come to the light. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sancista Brujo Luis.